Hey model builders, how are you today? Trevor Ursulescu from Monster Hobbies here. I am so stoked for the new Batman movie coming to theaters soon. It's called The Batman. And boy, do the trailers for it ever look great. But why am I talking about a movie in a model car unboxing video? Because I grew up in the late 80s and I remember when another Batman movie hit the silver screen. So that's why today we're going to celebrate the new movie by taking a look at the original 1989 AMT Ertl Batmobile kit. And stay tuned to the end of this video because I discovered a bat secret that I want to share with you, so I'm sure you don't want to miss it. And now let's begin with our video. Suddenly it's 1989 again and the new gritty Tim Burton Batman movie is playing at the theater. Smash that like button if you were a 1980s kid that saw this movie on the big screen just like I did. Yeah! Go Gen X! Not even a month later this great model kit was released. This is a pretty rad model kit with movie stills on the side of the box so that you have reference when you build your Batmobile model kit and a Batmobile specification chart on the other side, which was pretty awesome. The only thing we didn't get was the Michael Keaton Batman figure. Inside the box, we have the amazing instruction sheet and this special mail-away offer for the Batman Cocoon Armor Shield Protector. Did any of you send away for that? Because it sure would have kept the dust off the model. We also get this really amazing injection molded Batmobile body, the chassis, the interior components, the wings inside of the Batmobile, the roof and wheels and cowl, amazing chrome, awesome glass, and these great tires. Before we continue, I want to share this quick story about my friend Jason. Jason just loved that movie so much that when it came out on VHS back in the day, he rented it so many times and he memorized it line for line. So when we watched the movie together, Jason would be sitting over there in the corner saying, You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? I always ask that of all my prey. I just like the sound of it. <laughs> and that was just Jason. Hey, if any of you knew somebody like that, tell me the story about it down in the comments below. And now let's take a look at the instructions. And down here we get this amazing write-up of the entire Batmobile, followed by the tools and tips we need to build it. Panel 1 shows our bat interior going together, which leads into the second part of our interior build, which shows all the pieces gluing in underneath the Batmobile, as well as the bucket which accelerates into body assembly too, where we see the sides of the Batmobile being glued on as well as the cowl and the intake. This step continues to the rear of the body where we see the inner fins being glued on as well as the afterburner and the afterburner nozzle, as well as our turn lamps and spray nozzles. Step three shows the final body and chassis assembly beginning with the chassis, our metal axles and our three piece bat wheels. Next we continue with our body chassis assembly and here we see the canopy and the glass being glued together which drops onto the body and then the body assembly drops onto our assembled chassis. And in order to stop the Joker we need our final bat components which include our pop-up machine guns as well as the side doors with our grappling hook. And that, according to the instructions, is how you assemble this amazing Batmobile model kit. Hey, if you love building model cars like I do, why don't you check out the model cars I have for sale today at www.monster-hobbies.ca and if you enter in the promo code YouTube right now into that when you buy something from the shopping cart, I will personally give you 10% off that order. So now let's continue with our look at the Batmobile. The body detailing on this model is excellent. Take a look at these great vents in the back here. The louvers are amazing. The fins are awesome looking. You've got a nice grill with even mesh inside. There you've got the Corvette style nose. And again, here's this awesome little lockdown for the hood, which would, I guess, open up forward clamshell style or pull out and then come up on a real Batmobile. But anyway, look underneath, there's hardly any mold marks or anything. This thing will be amazing to build and look very excellent on your shelf. 
Now even though the chassis is a one-piece model, we still get excellent detail underneath here with of course our bat jet engine with a standard GM transmission hooked on here, as well as our exhaust going out to the back. And if you flip this over, you can read the copyright which says trademark DC Comics 1989. And now looking at the bat interior, you can see that they molded in some actual flocking as carpet onto the floors. And if we turn this over, you can see the amazing detail on that dashboard. Every single gauge, including the kitchen sink, all that and a bag of chips. And even the seats have a nice texture up top in the headrests. And there's our little bat firewall and all the rest. And of course the top of our instrument panel. Again, very nicely detailed by the boys at AMT back in 1989. Our next parts tree contains all the body panels for our Batmobile, including the trap doors for our machine guns, again with the wonderful louvers and those vents. There's our side panels for our intakes for our jet exhaust, and again very nice looking, very excellent detail. Our inserts for our inner bat fins, and then the little doors for the sides for our grappling hook. Not very many mold marks on here, hardly any at all actually. And again, another great part from AMT. Wrapping up our final black parts tree, we have the canopy, the front fairing, the light bezels, as well as the grappling hook and our wheel backs. And again, very excellent work here. Easy to assemble using the metal axle. This again is another great artwork of a sprue tree. Hey, thanks for watching the video up to this point. I can't wait to reveal this bat discovery of mine. So hang on, we're almost at the end. The chrome plated parts on this Batmobile are really excellent. Inside our air intakes, you can see a mesh grill. There's a little turbine blades inside of our engine. Here we have our machine guns and the mechanisms to lift them up out of the car, as well as the back of our rocket motor and the amazing little bat symbols on each of the wheels. Again, this is an amazing piece of chrome artwork. Getting into our glass components, we have this amazing piece which includes our wraparound windshield, our opera windows on the side, and our front headlights, as well as the red parts for the back, and these great metal axles for our wheels. Next up we have these classic AMT tires, which include our Goodyear Polyglass GT tires, which need the webbing cut out of them, as well as the flash sanded off the sides. However, these look really great, and you also get these amazing big back tires. Look at how wide these things are in comparison with our Goodyear's. Really amazing tread on them, and really excellent. So, I wonder what this model kit looks like when I put it together. Here it is, and isn't she a beauty? Now, I built this as a kid back in 1989, and one thing I wanted to add was real fish hooks into the side, because I wasn't really convinced with the kit supplied grappling hook. However, I used quite few paints on this. This is actually the pure black plastic as it comes out of the kit. And even at that, this thing is great. The canopy is removable, which allows you to check out the amazing interior. Well, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video of the 1989 Batmobile by AMT Ertl. And thank you so much for sticking with me until the end of this video. So now you're expecting me to reveal the Bat Discovery. Well, let's take a look at the secret. Coming soon to a hobby shop near you. Boy, I can't wait for that one to hit the shelves. So if you like this video, don't forget to check out these other two great ones. Subscribe and support me over here on Patreon because every time you support me on Patreon, I can make more videos that are great and better just like this one. So until next time, everybody, happy model building.